everyone! Today I'm gonna go through my craft hoard and find stuff to make some autumnal decor. I'm kind of playing around with a different type of uh, filming style, so let me know what you guys think. Um, so let's get started! Hey guys! I wanted to do some autumn decor using what I have here in the house still. So I'm gonna go try to figure out what I have. Um, I think I have a bouquet of like autumnal plants, so I'll probably use that. Hopefully I can come up with something good. So let's go see what I can find. Oh, I need to show you guys. I saved a monarch butterfly before uh, the hurricane hit a couple weeks ago and it's going to emerge probably tomorrow. Let's show you what it looks like. Here are all my plants. Well, not all of them, but that poor guy right there needs a little bit of loving, but here's the butterfly. It's kind of hard to see because of the jar warping the view, but the uh, chrysalis is starting to become transparent, so that means it should be emerging pretty soon. I think tomorrow. They usually come out in the morning, so at least that's what I've read, so we'll see. I'm going to try to catch it on camera. Room and it is a mess. Wow, Ooh, it's kind of embarrassing to show that and the desk area. So I guess I gotta clean off the space so that I can work. All right, so I think I got it all cleared up. I have these guys in this tin. It says meats and vegetables but actually it's full of a bunch of ribbon, leaf kind of ribbon that I've been wanting to use. I feel like this is, this may be a perfect time. I don't know. This one, which is kind of like autumn-y, rustic kind of, it's not quite burlap, but it kind of has that look. And then this one, kind of shimmery. I'll probably make a bow or something out of this one. And then this one I might use to like make a thing to like hang it. I thought that I had like a gold ring to use as the base of the wreath and it turns out I do and I found it but this is how tiny it is. <laughs> I thought it was much bigger so I will not be using this. I will be using some wire that I have. Actually you know what I'm not going to use wire. I have some reed I've used in other projects that's right over there. I'll go grab it really quick. Uh, I'm not going to use all of this. We'll play with it. We'll see how it goes. I had a piece of reed that ended up being the perfect size to double up and form into a nice sized ring. To hold the reed in place, I wrapped the ends with floral tape. At first, I was going to wrap the whole thing with the tape so that it was a uniform color. But then I realized that I was going to just go back and wrap the whole thing again to attach the floral elements. So why not just wrap in the flowers as I went around the first pass? I also considered using this leaf ribbon, which I think is so cool, but it just didn't look that good in this application, so I decided against it. For some of these bigger bundles of leaves and flowers, I cut the main stem connecting them off so that I could space them out more evenly. So actually wrapping the floral bits on with the floral tape in one go kind of was a pain in the ass. I wanted it to be nice and neat and I just kept pulling the floral tape too hard and it kept ripping and it was being very difficult to work with. So I ended up just using some clear tape, um, like small little bits of it, and using that to kind of tack the floral pieces on. And then after attaching all those, I was going to go back in and finish with the floral tape. This way had a couple advantages. 
Clear tape was easier to work with, and since I knew it was going to be covered with the floral tape later, it didn't really matter if I was a little bit messy with it. Whereas with the floral tape only, like I mentioned, I was trying to make it look perfect right off the bat, and I kept tearing it, and it was just a big mess. Another advantage is that if I didn't really like the way that it was looking, or it wasn't spaced out correctly, or the colors just didn't look good together, I could very easily remove the bits that I had taped on and then just move them around. Whereas with the floral tape, they kind of really get attached because you wrap up the whole stem and it's kind of a pain to move them. I continued using the clear tape to secure the floral pieces down until I reached the other side. And I had a couple extra little floral pieces that I added on wherever it looked like there was like any gaps or anything that felt like it needed filling in. So here it is. I tried doing more of a gradient look, but it kind of just looks two-toned. But whatever, it still looks nice, I think. To finish it off, I made a bow with some of this big ribbon. I just looped it around to be about as big as I wanted, squished it in the middle, and then I took a smaller piece where I had folded the sides in and I wrapped that around. You can hot glue this, but I ran out of the correct size of glue sticks. Somehow I have oval ones that don't fit into my glue gun. I've never seen a glue gun that accepts oval sized glue sticks. Is that a thing? I didn't even know that was a thing. I've only ever seen round, so like I've seen big round ones and small round ones, but never oval. Anyway, since I didn't have any more hot glue, I decided to just do some quick and dirty sewing to secure it in place. This isn't going to be seen, so I wasn't too worried about making it look nice and neat. I cut two tails, cutting the ends like so, folding them together, and then snipping at an angle to make this forked tongue looking end. I pinched the other ends and then attached them to the back of the bow. So now I have this. Then I attached it to the bottom of the wreath. Cute. I ended up tying on a tiny piece of ribbon at the top to make it hang down a little bit further as my wreath hanger had it a little too high up at first. Oh my gosh, guys, it's happening. It's happening. Look at this. It's so big! Apparently I have to leave him in there for 24 hours before I can release him. Um, so I guess tomorrow I'll be releasing him. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I'm playing with this new style of filming that's more like vloggy style, I guess. Let me know what you think. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you in a couple of weeks. Um, and actually, as I'm looking at the calendar, apparently in two weeks, it's going to be Thanksgiving. So I'm putting out a video on Thanksgiving, I guess. <laughs> that one might be a chill video since um, some of you may be cooking all day or hanging out with family or friends. So we'll see how that goes. All right. Bye. Definitely not letting that happen. Here you go, butterfly. Can you give it a flower? Ooh. 
Well, its wings are strong. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> 